Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been three weeks. Today is day twenty-one, and here is a quick recap. Let me know which was your favorite artwork this week in the comments below. And for today, the pick is Tanzania. Let's go. Tanzania is a country in East Africa within the African Great Lakes region. With some 800 km of virtually untouched palm-fringed coast bordering the warm seas of Indian Ocean, Tanzania abounds in scenic superlatives. Mount Kilimanjaro, the Africa's highest mountain, is in northeastern Tanzania. Also, two of the largest rivers in the world, the Nile and Zaire, have their headwaters in Tanzania. Tanzania is entirely a colonial creation. Occupied by the Germans in the 1880s, the area became British administrated Tanganyika after the First World War. Independence was obtained with little opposition in 1961, but Tanzania was not formed until 1964 when the small state of Zanzibar joined the vastly larger mainland territory. The name Tanzania is itself a fusion of Tanganyika and Zanzibar. Mainland Tanzania consists mostly of plateaus broken by mountainous areas and the East African section of the Great Rift Valley. The southeastern plateau, covered by dry grasslands, rises behind the narrow, reef-fringed coastal plain and is bordered on the west by the southern highlands. Between them and the Kilimanjaro volcanic region in the northeast is the Masai Steppe, a plateau covered by grass and thorn bush. This is the inspiration of today's artwork, the tribal lives of Masai people. On these Masai Steppe, some of the nomadic Masai people still herd their humpbacked cattle. However, the enclosure of their land for government projects and the death of their cattle through drought have led many to seek work in the towns. Over 100 different languages are spoken in Tanzania, making it the most linguistically diverse country in East Africa. The official language and the national language is Swahili. Eighty percent of Tanzanians make a living from the land. Productivity is low, however, and there is no surplus from the crops they grow, principally maize, after they have fed themselves. 
only a few farmers have a regular income from cash crops such as cotton and coffee. Food has to be imported from the urban population. The islands of Zanzibar and the neighboring Pemba with higher and more reliable rainfall are more successful agriculturally than the mainland. The western half of Zanzibar in particular has very fertile soil where citrus fruits, rice, maize, plantains and cassava are grown. But of greater importance are the coconut and clove plantations. Tanzania was once the world's leading producer of cloves. They also grew many other spices leading to the names Island of Cloves and Spice Islands. One of the country's greatest attractions is its abundant wildlife, including elephants and lions. There are 17 national parks and game reserves. Tanzania's wonders also include archaeological sites such as Olduai Gorge on the western edge of Serengeti Plain. The remains of early man, some 2 million years old, were found here. They were discovered in 1964 by the British archaeologist and anthropologist Louis Leakey, assisted by his wife and sons. Further evidence of primitive man include the 30,000 year old Stone Age rock paintings of wild animals and hunters around Kondoa, east of the Maasai Steppe. This was it for today's tribal artwork. Please let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Please like this video if you like the artwork. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.